Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today we are going to be taking a look at some of the most divine, cherished online relics there are. That's right, y'all. Delulu Denise has entered the chat. We are talking about Imagines, the phenomena that took fangirls by storm. Tsunami, even. A while ago, I made a video reacting to BTS Imagines, and I thought, you know, why not take a little trip over from the east to the west, okay? E to W. Ew. We are gonna be taking a look at One Direction, okay? The gorgeous British boys who think that we're beautiful because we don't think that we're beautiful. Because nothing is sexier than a woman who fucking hates herself. And then also Five Sauce, their little punk rock rival. You know, the boys who think that we're so perfect standing there in their American apparel underwear. Which I always thought that was interesting because it's like, why would I want to wear your underwear? Like, is it clean? Like, no offense, but I don't want your skid marks laying atop my bare skin. You know, just like I'm sure you don't want my period stains rubbing all up on your scrotum. Anyways, if you guys aren't familiar with Imagines, they're basically like condensed fan fictions. And usually there's like a picture of the celebrity on them or something like that. It's like fan fiction to go. Microdosing a fan fiction, but overdosing on delusions. Also, before I get into this, clearly some of these are fake. Some of these are satire. Uh, I just wanna say, I know. Sometimes I'll react to things that's like, clearly it's a joke. And then I'll get comments that are like, um, excuse me, at the four minute mark, that post was clearly satirical and it was a joke. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I am also making a joke. Are you familiar? Also disclaimer, whenever I see Y slash N or your name, I'm just gonna say Emily to make it easier. Hashtag imagine. Liam, it's your turn, Niall. Niall, I don't wanna sing before Emily come. Liam, but Niall, don't force me, Liam. Liam. But Emily passed away two weeks ago. Niall. But she but promised, she promised me. me. Sorry, everybody. Uh, there's going to be an indefinite delay to the start of the show because we're waiting for Niall's dead girlfriend to show up. So uh, if any of you see a decomposing body somewhere in the crowd, it's okay. It's just uh, Niall's GF. You're sitting in the crowd like, oh my god, why are there so many flies around here? And why does it smell like charred dog shit? And then you look to your left and see a rotting corpse with an I Heart Nile t-shirt. Also, love the part where Liam says, but Emily passed away two weeks ago. And Niall goes, but she promised me. Like, oh, okay. And in, in that case, I guess we'll wait. Harry gave Emily a challenge to live a day without him, no communication, and if she passed, they would be in love forever. Emily agreed. After a day, Emily excitedly went to Harry. Baby, I did it! She neither texted nor called Harry for the whole day without knowing. Harry only had 24 hours left to live because he was dying of cancer. <sighs> Tears fell down Emily's face as she read the note on Harry's coffin. You did it, baby girl. Now please do it every day. Okay, not gonna lie, if I were her, I would literally be pissed. Like, I passed the challenge and now you're dead. Not a great prize. What the fuck? Also, imagine your boyfriend suggesting this in the first place. Like, how about we do this fun little thing where you shut the hell up for 24 hours and don't speak to me? Like, fun date idea. Harry Styles as a boyfriend is like me when I would babysit children. I would just be like, okay, why don't we play the quiet game? Like, is this supposed to be romantic? It just seems more traumatizing for me. Harry, never mind the age of a girl. Louis, so you date a 13 year old? Harry, why not? <sighs> Love the imagines where we make our celebrity crushes terrible people. You know, it's like sometimes we don't want a Prince Charming. Sometimes it's like, why don't you just make him a pedo? I want someone to make one of me where it's like, never mind the age of a dog. So you'd put down a three day old puppy? Why not? Granted, this was probably made when Harry Styles was actually in the band, and I think he was like 16 to 22 when he was in One Direction. So say if he was 16 or 17 and she was 13, that is still extremely weird, but that's like, I mean, high school seniors go after freshmen all the time, and that's like the same age gap. Obviously, I still think that's really weird, and I think you're a weirdo if you do that, but if you replaced Harry Styles' name with like high school senior with a 1.6 GPA, 
This little fan fiction thing would make a lot of sense to me. Like, never mind the age of a girl. I can't even do math. I failed my class three times. Imagine. Imagine. You finally got to meet Luke Hemmings. You bumped into him on the street and has to get a picture. Later that day, you went on Twitter and saw that your favorite posted that picture of you two with the caption, HELP ME FIND THIS GIRL! You started getting a bunch of notifications and finally a DM from Luke that said, Hi cutie. He literally said, Twitter, do your thing. Hey guys, could any of my millions of followers perhaps dox this young lady for me? Your favorite boy band member posting a picture of you online like, does anyone know where this 14 year old girl lives? What school does she go to? What hospital was she born at? I mean, it almost sounds like she's missing or something. Like, help me help find, me this, find girl. this girl. <laughs> oh my God, like, you know what it reminds me of? Stop scrolling, my mom is missing and I need your help. So this one is like a text conversation, very immersive. Luke, babe, where are you? Answer me, please. Where are you? Luke, this isn't funny anymore. Answer me. Hey, here's Michael. I'm sorry, but Lucas had an accident, dot, dot, dot. He's in the hospital, dot, dot, dot. Um, would be great if you could come, dot, dot, dot. Whom do you really? This can't. And then it cuts off. Obsessed with the, um, dot, 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 would be great if you could come. It seems so passive aggressive. <laughs> like, um, yeah, Luke is on a ventilator right now, if you even care. Also obsessed with the, hey, here's Michael. It could be like that, or it could also be like that one scene from The Shining. Here's Michael. <laughs> Hashtag imagine, you come out of a teeth transplant. Harry, I'm alive, you scream. <laughs> Who do you think gave you the teeth? He's, <laughs> oh my God. He says, smiling. This is simply a classic, okay? If you have never seen this before, I feel honored to be the one to bestow it upon you, okay? This should be up there with The Great Gatsby and Moby Dick. The only thing that could make this funnier is if like we were not Harry Styles' girlfriend in this scenario. Imagine just going to the dentist, you know, as a normal civilian to get your teeth transplant as one does. And then you wake up from the operation and you see this man standing in the room with you and you're like, is that fucking Harry Styles? Like just the thought of waking up from surgery and then seeing a buck-toothed Harry Styles standing in the corner like, wakey wakey, 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 wakey beans, beans, toast, beans, toast and, bakey. and bakey. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I really am. Like, I know a British person is watching this and they're like hiring a hitman to come and kill me. You shut the door and Luke sat down with you still in his arms. Luke, why are you so smiley, baby? Emil, Emily, you're just so cute. Luke, shut up. He giggled and blushed. You shook your head and he smiled. Why? Emily, why what? You stroked his hair back. Luke, why me? Why? Emily, you know why. You blushed. Luke, I just like to hear you say it. Emily, I'll say it if I get a kiss. He nodded. Emily, I love you. He crashed his lips to yours, pulling you on top of him laying down. Okay, so the only reason I included this one is because, you know, when people in fan fictions write and their lips crashed upon each other and this or that, I'm like, okay, first of all, ow. Like, crashed? What are you talking about crashed? Like, are we talking like crashing waves upon the seashore? Or are we talking like, you know, an 18 wheeler flooring it into a brick wall. Like maybe it's just my personal preference, but when they're like, their teeth crashed together and their tongues were fighting for dominance, like anacondas wrestling over a chinchilla, I'm like, that does not sound pleasant to me. It's like one makeout session from a fan fiction and your two front teeth are gonna be chipped. Your lip is gonna be split. Your septum got deviated. It's like, if you keep crashing your face into mine, I might have to take up Harry on that teeth transplant. Imagine you are hanging with the boys when you start to have a pillow fight. You throw a pillow at Zane, laughing because it was funny. He stops and looks at you, disgusted. You fucking bitch, he yelled before beating you with the pillow. You die. Aw. Imagine. Ashton spotting you in the crowd and not being able to take his eyes off you. You're sitting there thinking, oh my God, he must be staring at me because I'm so beautiful and he wants to take me backstage so that we can crash lips. And meanwhile, it's just like, you have something in your teeth. Or maybe he's not staring at you because you're beautiful. Maybe it's because you're like super busted, you know? 
and he's just standing there like, who let this medical anomaly into the stadium? Though honestly, I do feel like singers have to see attractive people in the crowd because whenever I go to a concert, I'm like, okay, why is this baddie central right now? Me being a singer, like, stop, stop the music. You over there, what's your Instagram? It's like the concert is six hours long because during every song, I'm just like unplugging all the wires and I'm like, hey, you, you over there. Yeah, in the third row, are you, are you? Imagine. Emily, I can't believe that you're going to prom with that nerd, one of your friends in planes. By nerd, she means Luke Hemmings. Yeah, he's a bit nerdy, but you decided to give him a chance. He has a huge crush on you, and you didn't want to say no to him when he asked you to go to the prom with him. Jess, stop it already. Besides, he said that he's gonna wear something better than he usually does. This is the first Imagine that I've personally seen that makes the celebrity look like a complete loser. Like, Imagine, your celebrity crush has no riz and dresses like shit and you take pity on him. I feel like if I were a celebrity, I think I would look at the Imagines and the fan, well, I don't, I don't think, I know. I mean, I watch edits of myself even now, so. But if I saw an Imagine about me that was like, Ew, Ew the stinky, the stinky girl, from girl from third period, period wants to borrow, wants to borrow your, your pencil. pencil. Ew, Ew, that's so that's gross. gross. Oh my god, oh my she, god has she has glasses. Oh, oh. Ew. I would be like, oh. Okay. Niall watching you and your boyfriend fight. <laughs> what is this hidden footage ass picture? Like this looks like one of those pictures you see that it's it's like supposed to be proof that Bigfoot is real, but the photo was like five pixels. Like he looks like a kid that's watching his parents fight and divorce is on the horizon. Niall gives you the mirror. You, what are you doing? Niall, see that girl? I'm gonna marry her one day. Kisses you. And that girl in the mirror he was talking about was Bloody Mary. Kidnapped, Kidnapped by five socks. Whoops, 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 whoops. Me when I kidnap and hold someone hostage. I made an oopsie. Them in court and the lawyer asked, now why did you kidnap and hold this young girl for ransom? And all they have to say for themselves is, I done goofed up. Louis pulling funny faces when he knows that you're nervous about something to try and make you calm down. POV, I'm nervous in the hospital because I'm about to get surgery soon and there's a high chance that I won't make it out alive. The last thing I see before going under is Louis standing over me like this. You know, instead of giving people Xanax for anxiety, doctors should just prescribe people photo cards of the boys from One Direction and just, you know, them going cross-eyed. Photo cards of the One Direction boys making goofy faces will be the next opioid crisis, calling it. This is Niall's face when he's on tour and think of you. Just neutral. Imagine the boy's face when you walk through the door. Yeah, this is totally the effect I have on men, just. Me when I see a beautiful woman. <laughs> first of all, the first two's facial expressions look like I just told them a second plane has hit the Twin Towers. And then the third one looks like I just gave him an ice cream cone. The duality of woman, you know? It's like I can just garner a variety of reactions when I walk into a room. Sometimes it's screams of terror and then other times they're licking the ground I walk on. My door opens and someone steps in. I look up from my laptop and look in the eyes of Harry. He comes over to me and hugs me tightly. I missed you, he says. He came home from his tour with One Direction, and I missed him as much as he missed me. He breaks away from the hug and kisses me. <laughs> Harry! I moan. Stop it, please. We aren't allowed to do this. His eyes darken. I know. I know that it's wrong, but I'm in love with my stepsister. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm your stepsister, right? Or you're just letting me know, you know, before we have sex, I just want to let you know, I am in love with my stepsister, by the way. Imagine hooking up with somebody and before she even takes her shirt off, you're like, whoa, 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 just want to let you know. I kind of love incest a little bit. I love a little bit of incest. Big fan. You, would you cry for me if I died? Liam, no. <laughs> you, aw, sad face. Liam, I would die for you and find you in the heaven. Aw, that is so Romeo of you, you know? Being like, well, my girlfriend's dead, so I guess I'm gonna kill myself. 
Sayonara! Liam Payne banging on the pearly gates like that woman trying to get onto the bus. Emily, are you in there? And then God has to come down to the front and be like, she's downstairs, buddy. Also obsessed with me asking, would you cry for me if I died? And then him just responding, no. You, I hate how I look in pictures. Zane, me too. Nothing in the world could capture all of your beauty. Me when I'm the Grand Canyon. This is such a nice way of telling someone that they are not photogenic. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that your selfies look like shit. It's just that no camera can even capture all of your beauty. You know, even my eyes can't capture your beauty. It's almost like it's not even there. You see a pretty lesbian at a gay bar, and even though she doesn't return your lesbian nod, she follows you to the dance floor, and after a few songs, she kisses you. To your surprise, she is not a lesbian at all, but Ireland's sweetheart, Niall Horan, who had mistakenly thought you were a cute twink. Happens to the best of us. He buys you a beer and apology and offers to set you up with one of his friends. I'm not gonna lie, he is serving Ellen in this photo, God bless. This is so funny because I was at this club one time, right? And I saw this very beautiful woman or, you know, so I thought, so I went up to them and then, you know, we were talking or whatever. And then I was like, um, oh, are you gay? And they were like, yes. And I was like, okay, perf. And then, but then they were like, no, like I like men. And then I was thinking in my head, wait, but I thought you were a woman, so if you're gay, I thought you would like women, but you like men, and then I was like, and then the gear started turning, and I was like, oh my god, this is a guy. I'm flirting with a man right now. Oh! <laughs> no, but they were a very beautiful, androgynous guy, uh, and then I was just like, oh shit, uh, have a good night. But, uh, yeah, okay. With that, why don't I bid you adieu, right? Um, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I hope that you had fun delving into some imagines with me. Let me know other things that you want me to react to or games you want me to play, whatever. Um, and yes, I hope you all have a good day and until next time.